Hi ladies. Now as promised, we are going to do some work on the 7 series this year. So I'm going to show you the basics today and every month I'm going to show you how to use your machine. Knowing that half of you ladies don't live in Taranga. So the first thing you need to know about the new machine is the bobbin. So the bobbins on these machines have our little shiny piece on one side and our plain black on the other. So when we wind a bobbin, we want to put the shiny side down onto our bobbin winder and push it down so it's connected, okay? Then when we put our thread on the back, having our thread coming off the back of our roll, we're going to sit it on here and we're going to push our little holder nice and close but not tight. We're going to bring our thread behind here we're going to go around our little tension unit and we're going to go around the same way and if you're unsure there are arrows and you can cut your thread whoops you can cut your thread as well okay then you just simply push this across and your machine will wind your bobbin nice and evenly now it's showing on your screen here and you can move your speed to slow it down so you don't have to do it so fast or you can go really really fast if you want so standard speed is there about 61 you can stop it if you don't want to full a full bobbin and you simply lift your bobbin up and you cut your thread okay now with your bobbin case on the new machines it's beautiful lovely big bobbin case and you, these little metal parts here you are going to put them right side down into your bobbin so the plain black piece is showing. You drop it into your bobbin case, turn your bobbin case and you'll see where it slides in. You just pull it, you come all the way around here, you come down under the wire and then hold your bobbin and pull it hard. I'm just going to show you that again. Okay? If you can get your bob <laughs> if you can get your bobbin out. Okay, show you that again. So put your bobbin in to your bobbin case, hook it around your little, you can see the little cut there, come around, put your finger on here, bring it around and pull it tight and you can hear it click. And that is your bobbin in correctly. Now you'll see on your bobbin you have like a fingerprint on here, that's how you're going to push that to get your bobbin out and then push that side to I mean push that to get it out and pull the side to get it in, to push it in. So obviously I'll need to take my beautiful big sew table off. So I'm going to push my thumb on here and that is going to loosen my sew table and then I pull it to the left. And to put it on, don't touch the thumb mark and then just make sure it's sitting nice and flat and even and it will go on. So take it off so you can see what I'm doing. And you have got two holders you have one here and one here and that is how you open your opening okay so your bobbin center your bobbin area needs to be open correctly with two hands okay so inside here your bobbin area there is a little cut out at the top for this wire to fit into so you simply just put your bobbin in I'm doing it so you can see nicely and you push the left hand side and it clicks in. If I want to take it out, I push the right hand side and it pops my bobbin out. So it's nice and easy. So put it in and click the left hand side and take it out and push the right hand side. All right. While I'm here, I'm going to show you what you do if you need to clean your machine or you get a thread jam of any description. There's a little lever here. You click that and it opens your shuttle area and you can pull this completely out. Okay? And you'll see, if I show you on here, there is a circle. Alright? Inside here there is also a circle inside your bobbin case area and to put it back you match this circle up with this circle inside here and it will be in the correct place and it kind of magnetizes itself and it's very clever so just get down on your benders have a look where it goes and just slip it in 
and it's so easy when I'm doing it at home. I'll get down on my hands and knees so I can show you. So just turn it, find where your opening is, where your circle is, and just turn it around till it fits in. When it's in correctly, it will just sit in like it just did, and it won't fall out. And then you push this up, and just push it so that you're going to push it behind that little lever. So remember the lever's there, and you want to push it behind that little lever. So if you need to clean your machine out, that is what you do. Okay? Then you pop your bobbin case back in and you push it to the left and then you simply put your thread in here and you cut your thread and you close the door and that is how you put your bobbin in correctly. Now to thread your machine you've already got it on the thread stand here and you come behind here the foot's always going to be up because you've got it automatically up. You come down straight around, follow the arrows around, there's a little arrow here to follow. You go up, you follow the arrow right up to the top and pull it down. And what it's doing is it's going in this take-up lever. So if I move this, you can see my thread moving up and down. So it's very important it's in there or it won't sew. From there, you come behind this very long piece of wire here. You come behind the little needle threader, so there's a little holder there. Now to use your needle threader, you hold your thread in your right hand, you bring down your little needle threader bar, and did you see my foot went down automatically? And you hook the thread underneath your needle threader, you push your needle threader till it can't go any further and the wire has gone through the needle, then you bring your thread across and you click it into your needle threader. So it can't go anywhere, it's in the right place. Then you let your left hand go and you have threaded your needle. And then you pull the thread at the back. So I'm just gonna show you that again. With your right hand, you hook your thread under your needle threader. You push your needle threader till it can't go any further. You slide your thread across, you let your right hand go, you let your left hand go, and you've got a beautiful big loop to pull, okay? Now, if you want to, you can just push your foot to get your foot, your foot button to get your foot back up, and it's the second one here. So that lifts your foot up, and you lay your thread underneath, and you use your thread cutter. Now, on your older machines, you would go from front to back, on the newer machines, you go back to front and there is your thread cut, okay? Then you just simply put your sew table back on and push it. And did you know that this fantastic little stylus lives here and magnetizes? So it's just sitting on the side of your machine and it's magnetizing there. So you always know it's there, so you can have it like that. I quite often have it like that so I remember it's there. So what this is for, instead of using your big fingers on your machine, you can simply use the stylus to select your stitch and it will select it nicely and easily. So stitch number one obviously is your straight sewing. So this picture here is showing your stitch length and this button here has got a picture of a stitch length and to lengthen it, you simply turn it. Now you'll notice that that has gone yellow. If I push the clear button, which clears my stitch, it goes back to white. So white means my machine setting. So again, if I lengthen it, it will go yellow. And that shows me I have lengthened it to 3.3. Okay, so if I go on to zigzag, it's going to be on the preset, which is 1.5 high by 3.6 wide. So again, if I lengthen it, it's going to go yellow because I've changed it. And the top one is your zigzag. So the top one is going to go nice and wide. And you can go right out to nine width. It's incredible. All right. So I want you, we're going to go through this machine very slowly and clearly over the next year. And I want you to really understand these machines because they are fantastic. So I will just be showing you a little bit every month. And today is the straight stitch, the zigzag, 
the stylus, the threading, the bobbin work, and the one more thing is your needle um, positions. So straight stitch, moving your needle positions are these buttons here. So you can go right over to five to the left and five to the right. And it's gone yellow because it means you've changed something and clear takes you back to the center. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do today because I really want you to understand this machine. We will do some projects later on in the year and don't forget if you haven't got one of these styluses, you can buy them. They are brilliant and they go on the side of the machine. They are much easier to use your machine. So make sure you practice those things, keep your machine clean and you're going to love your 7 Series. So I'll see you next month.